welcome back to my channel so today we're doing an unboxing i bought this with my own money so it's not an ad not affiliated um i saw it on aliexpress and i want to really try it so it's a laser engraving machine and this is the brand and yeah let's just try and unbox this together let's get our nice sharp pointy thing it does look like somebody already opened the box so that's going to be interesting because i don't think it's supposed to look like this when it arrives so hopefully everything is okay okay so let's just open it so i've got a couple of little test plates in here and the reason I bought this small machine is because I'm not sure if I want to get a big one. So this is the booklet. It's got a lot of interesting things in it. Hopefully it's not too hard. Let's see if we can pull this out. It is really, really small. So let's just... I think that's the top part, which has the laser in it. So it's got a pair of safety glasses. This I think is part of the base. And then you have this safety shield. It works the same as the glasses. Let me just get the rest out of the box. So I got everything out of the box and I've been going through this booklet and there's a lot on the software but absolutely nothing on the hardware. So maybe something here. Oh, this is the power cord. Not a cord, so I think we're go just going to have to figure it out. I uh, love when they do that. So this is the base, that's for sure. It has these little soft things underneath. So these are the little feet, but I don't think you actually need them if you're going to be engraving on something flat. So I think I'm going to leave these off. So we only have to put this onto the machine. Okay, that wasn't that hard. That's why there's probably no instructions. So the on and off switch is on the side and the two cables as well. But this is USB, I think to connect it to a computer. And this is a power cord thingy. And this is the USB. This is the power cord. Um, I think I'm going to be reading and downloading the app. And then we're going to just try and see if it actually works. So it took me a while uh, to figure out how to do this, but um, I recommend to download the Android one because that seems to work and has an English option. So when you get the app, uh, you download it and you get this view, but everything is in Chinese. So you go to this little top one, click on it, then choose the bottom one and then you go to the second because everything will be in Chinese and you will not be able to read anything but this is English and then the app will just change to English. I'm going to just turn on the machine and see what it does. It says connect it to the power supply then activate your Bluetooth. So I already have my Bluetooth on and then let's just put it on. That's a bit scary, but it did actually already show up on here. I'm just going to click it and it says represents the serial number of the machine. Okay, so where's the serial number? So I got it to connect. It says connected up here. Um, the password was just four times zero and it's connected right away. I think I need to read more, but I might just try and go to material. Okay, so those are pre put in pictures, but I'm not going to show you because they might be copyrighted. So let's not use that. If you go to pictures, it will show your own pictures in your camera roll. 
Uh, if you go to camera, it will put on your camera. So if you put graffiti, you can just draw something. Okay, it's a bit weird, but you can draw whatever you want. Um, text. Add text, you can just say hello in a lot of different fonts. So that's pretty cool. Then you can re rotate it. So you can get a bigger. So yeah, let me play around with this. And when I'm ready to move this thing around, I will get back to you and show you. So I just went and picked my logo and then it says next step and it converts it to black and white. You can also do grayscale or outline and sketch. You can invert it or mirror it. So I think I want to go with this. So I'm just gonna go and do the next step. Preview. It's just showing me where it's going to work. So I think I've got it. Okay, so now I'm going to find the material. Let's see. I think this is it's wood, but there's no wood in here. So let's just click bamboo. I just want it to go once, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to leave everything as is. And now I'm going to put on my safety glasses as well. And I think I still need to focus the laser. So I'm just twisting the little nozzle. I think it's okay. So they give you this little paper card and tell you what to do. So that's really handy. So let's put on the goggles. And now I can actually see the little thingy. And let's put start. And it says it's processing. It's real fast. And it's actually doing something. I'm only scared. It's the image just changed to only this part. So I think we're going to have a bit of a fail. So I'm just going to let it run. And I'll show you what it comes up with. So I've been trying for a while. It's engraving this. Hopefully it actually works. I looked at a couple of online um, tests because I was just getting this uh, on the cardboard um, and I don't know what I did wrong, but I think I'm gonna try this last one with my own design and I'll update you when I got something to show you. So here are my final thoughts on the laser printer from Daya. Uh, let me put this to the side. So does it work? Yes, it works. It works on bamboo. Um, for the bamboo, it's really hard to get the lines even when you want to do several passes. I like the thin lines for details, but I also like the bigger lines. You could even add maybe some resin into this. But I think this was laser at 80% and speed at 70. Then the cardboard was not the best design because it was more of a picture than just line works. But it, it worked. Um, I used just the settings on the machine. Then the letter, I also just used the settings on the machine. It's quick, it's easy, it's clean. It's I really like this. I used the same settings to do it on the hobby board. It didn't go through. It's quite deep, actually, I think more than a millimeter deep. But the lines are really clear. Like, it's really crisp. So I really like that. Then for the acrylic, I'm still working on this because as you can see, it does work. So I put the wood underneath to protect my bench and it went straight through because I didn't put any paint on here. So I think that works best just putting a thin layer of paint on. I'm still working on the settings, but it works and I actually got it to work on glass as well. So for the glass, it took me a while. You can see uh, my first engraving on here didn't work as well. So bigger lines, the setting was laser on 100% and speed on 10%. And I did change up my paint. Uh, first I tried the tempura paint, but I actually ended up using my black acrylic paint from Amsterdam, just the oxide black using the uh, silicone spatula and doing a really, really thin layer that worked best. So here are my thoughts on the machine. So it is cheap, portable, small, easy to store, easy to assemble, and it works pretty good. My minuses are the safety isn't that great. This doesn't really help because the rest of the machine is not covered. So use the goggles. 
please, even when you're just previewing because the laser is still on. It's only on 10%, but it's still on. It was hard to focus um, because the paper they provided, as you can see, is shiny and it doesn't really like to show up on shiny objects because it just bounces off. I couldn't make it work on metal. So I've got this coated metal ring. I tried a lot of settings, still couldn't get it to do anything. Uh, I did coat it with a matte paint, but even then it just didn't leave a mark. Oh, it's really, really slow. The, the area you can engrave is not that big. It's eight by eight centimeters. So this is my max width. And I almost forgot to mention this. The app, it works pretty well. Uh, the computer thing, I couldn't get it to work, but the app, it works, but it's not the best. And yeah, I think that's that's about it. So this is my review on the Daja laser engraver. I think if you want to do something for your hobby, yes, buy it. If you want to make money with it, don't. So I really hope this review was helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And for now, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.